What's up, everybody? Um, about, man, this has been about a year and, and a half ago, I guess, June of 2019. I was out looking on a website called Indiegogo, and I noticed that they had this uh, Shutter Grip 2 for your phone. Um, it's a Bluetooth device that you can, you know, hook up to your phone, use it more like a camera. At the time, I was, you know, going to use that as my um, go-to device when I was doing some of the videos that I would be doing. Um, since then, I've just used the um, GoPros, you know, kind of all by themselves and didn't really look at using the iPhone as a, as a camera. However, I went ahead and did um, contribute to this campaign and so about a week ago, I finally received it in the mail. I'm not going to do an unboxing, but I did want to show kind of, you know, what all was in here. Uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, setup, right? Uh, comes with the instructions on the top. Let me see if I can move this so you can see it. And then, you know, the device itself here um, comes with a, with a battery pack that's installed um, and also a, a carrying case, which is pretty neat. And of course, uh, the user guide, so we can turn this around where everybody else can see it. User guide that shows kind of the instructions. So I was gonna put this together and put on my phone and see how it actually looks. So here's here's everything that's um, in the package itself. So it comes with, with a pretty nice little carrying case. Uh, my lanyard and it's got this remote control I'm not 100% sure what this is yet we'll figure that out as we go along and then of course the grip itself so uh, I did uh, pair it to the phone it paired really easily um, I've got it set up and of course I've got the camera you know view up um, let's flip this around so as you can see there's my uh, so the camera set at an angle, um, and then if you push the button down here, it does take a picture. Um, there's kind of the, the picture I took. It's not can't see it, see it a lot, but it looks like it does work just by pushing the button. Of course, uh, this this comes down, and you can use it kind of. In the, in the selfie mode. Of course, Siri picked that up. Uh, I see now why I got to get it away from the away from the lens. There you go. Now away from the lens. Make sure you're not pushing the buttons because <laughs> that seemed to not. And the phone didn't like that very much, right? So um, put my passcode in. So I did reorient it a little bit better and put it down on the bottom side of the phone instead of the top side of the phone. That gets it away from all the buttons. It seemed like it'd be a pretty good device though. You can, um, of course, go into the video mode and then you can push the button and you probably couldn't see that very, very good, but it, it does record video. Let's if I can get that. Yeah, it definitely doesn't like the reflections and stuff, but it does record, push the button again, and it shuts off. I'm sure you probably could, could hear that as well. Um, it does have a place to mount a tripod, which is pretty neat. So, you know, pretty, pretty decent little device. I guess, you know, I could use this um, when I just didn't want to take a GoPro with me. I could always take this little device, you know, out with me to uh, do recordings and do pictures and stuff like that. Um, it, it does have an extension pole on it as well. Gives you a little bit of a selfie stick that you could use. So, um, not a bad device. Just it's a shame that I had to wait, you know, a year and a half to get it. But now that it's here, I can see where I can put this in my inventory and, and use it on occasion. 
So I hope you enjoyed that quick little look at the uh, Shutter Grip 2 made by Just Mobile. Go check them out.